Hey guys, Antrim I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a brief look into the pre-release to 1.3, and if you guys are curious to everything that has been added since, you know, 1.2's release and all of these snapshots, then um, be sure to check the links in the description below, because that is where I'm going to link to all of my snapshot reviews that have come out uh, since 1.2's release, so basically all of these snapshots for 1.3, and uh, when 1.3 comes out on August 1st, then I'm going to have a big overview of absolutely everything you know that seems important to review uh in that video so anyways um the reason why i haven't done a snapshot review in the past couple of weeks is because the snapshots that have come out have been more or less just bug fixes like literally i would just sit there and tell you this bug was fixed this bug was fixed done you know i just don't think that would have been you know a very amusing video for you guys and uh the reason why i'm a little bit late to the punch as far as these snapshot go is uh well you know pre-release slash snapshots because the 12 w uh 30 a b c d and e snapshots came out and then the 1.3 pre-release came out i just kind of wanted to wait and let all of that kind of simmer and you know just take time to pass by so i kind of knew what exactly to talk about um you know because i didn't want to review 12 w 30 a and then just have it like uh uh, you know, just feel incomplete, and it's raining outside, and you guys are going to hear that, but let's move on. Yeah, it's going to be really hard rain. That's what we're going to endure for this video. <laughs> but uh, anyways, the first order of business that I wanted to talk about is that creepers are now much more difficult. Uh, if you're playing on hard mode, if you're playing on normal mode, that's going to be the same damage as before, and if you're playing on easy mode, it's going to be 50% less damage, and it's actually quoted that in full diamond armor plus hard difficulty, a creeper can knock you down to two hearts. So that's what we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out here first so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to, going to go into hard mode here i'm going to go game mode zero uh and then time day a uh, time night i think it's time set night that i need to do with this and i'm going to shift click all of these pieces of armor on and yeah we're going to run around actually i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to Gave myself to creative until I find a creeper, and then we're going to test out just to see how much damage this thing can do, because I'm a little bit curious if this is actually accurate. Um, now, I know, you know, the hit that I might take from a creeper may not be, like, a fatal one, uh, or it may not actually drop me down to two hearts because I may not be close enough, but we'll see here. So, let's, I'm going to set the time to, like, 16,000 because, yeah, I'm, I, I am impatient waiting for the nighttime here, and it looks like we're getting a little bit of lag here, um... Hmm, there's a lit up wall right there. That's kind of interesting. All right, uh, where are you creepers? Where art thou a creeper? Okay, there's one. Cool. And it looks like it's on its, it lo looks like it's by itself too. So anyway, so let's see what this creeper has got. Come here, creeper. Show me your balls. I mean, what? <laughs> Show me what you got. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here, buddy. I don't want, I don't want you bringing your skeleton friend along with you or something. All right, let's, let's do this. Alright, so it dropped me down six hearts, and then the additional, um, you know, taking the fall damage from the blast was an additional heart. So it brought me down to three hearts in that case. So I'd say that, you know, it most definitely could bring you down to two hearts in, you know, a worst case scenario. It blows up, like, in the same square. Like, you get trapped in a hole and it gets blown up in the same square or something. But uh, another thing to note as well about creepers, fire charges, and TNT explosions, or I should say fire charge explosions and TNT explosions, you actually get a knockback for that now. So what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do is I'm going to game mode myself to one. And uh, let's just go ahead and let's set, give myself a torch. I love how TNT is filed under the redstone category. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and let's do this here. Uh, let's just set a couple right here. Let's do this. Set that right there. Yeah, let's get get knocked back. Yeah, and the reason why this is so important is because uh, when the first set of snapshots came out for 1.3, uh, the whole merge between multiplayer and single player happened, and uh, in multiplayer right now, TNT does not knock you back. So even though these were features of the previous version of Minecraft, you know, single player 1.2 and all, now it's going to be a feature of multiplayer, so your cannons and stuff like that are going to work online. So yeah, just thought I would share that with you guys here. Um, now, a couple of other, you know, more minor fixes that I want to talk about is, um, 
with things like when you're, uh, I, I think this is just the only specific example, is that now when you are uh, using a furnace, you get far less experience than when you used to, because for things like mining up blocks now, uh, let me go ahead and let me give myself a pickaxe here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mine up some stuff. I think it's when you mine up stuff like ores, uh, you get experience for stuff now, and I've mentioned that in a previous snapshot video, but uh, now you get far less of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just dig myself down here, see if I can find myself like some coal or something like that. I'm not sure if I get it from things like stone, but I just want to see if I can find something here really quick. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to game mode myself here. And as you can see here, you get you get just a little bit of experience from mining up stuff like this. And I assume that you would get it from furnaces as well. And it was a little bit ridiculous before, I guess. I, I honestly don't think that things like furnaces should give experience, you know. Just, I mean, the fact that I got one whole level from mining up uh, a bunch of coal, eh, just, eh, doesn't really seem that worth it. But uh, anyways, um, the next thing that I want to talk about here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get out of this hole to show you guys, is that now wood can be rotated. Uh, so they basically react the way pistons do. So when you set a piston down on the ground, it'll face a certain direction based on which direction you're actually facing. And now wood follows the same property. So if you place it down like this, basically whatever position you place the wood in, uh, the top slash bottom of the wood block is going to face you. So you can see right there, it faces me, faces me, faces me, faces me. But then I set it right here, and it doesn't quite do that. So, yeah, you can see that it looks a little bit derp. And, uh, yeah, if you place it upside down as well, it's going to, like, mimic the same direction if it's facing right set up. You can kind of see these two little pixels right here. These two, two little pixels right there match, even though they're placed in opposite directions. So it's either a, it's, e it's either going to be sideways or upright. Uh, there's no, like, upside down or anything like that. Uh, a few other things that I want to talk about um, are not really things that I can show. I suppose I could show the nether one, but um, Minecraft overall has just seen a huge performance upgrade. Uh, for those of you who have played in multiplayer Minecraft, uh, you would know that the performance is not really all that great. Um, now punching things like mobs uh, is pretty much like identical to the way that it would react. So you can see that the zombie is like walking fluently there, right? and only when it jumps it stutters a little bit, but no longer when it's walking, you know, it does it stutter really a whole lot. And uh, just like I said, just necessarily in general, things have been souped up. They're just better. You know, the amount of world updates is less. The amount of packets be sent between a client and the server is less, which makes the experience overall a bit better. Um, and it made the, the nether less laggy. Um, so anyways, the last things that I want to talk about here are... Uh, or actually, there's two last things I want to talk about. The first one, or the first two, so I guess that makes that means there's going to be three. Uh, there is a the addition for vertical synchronization and uh, full screen mode to be persistent. Uh, was added into the options of Minecraft. So if you bit, if you want to toggle uh, vertical synchronization, where your game will maximize at, I believe it's like 30 or 60 frames per second, uh, which kind of helps reduce lag spikes. Uh, you know, because when you're playing Minecraft, let's just say you get 100 frames per second by default. If it goes from 100 to 60, uh, that spike down in frame rate is going to be noticeable, even though the human eye can't see the difference between uh, 160. You're going to see a lag spike like that. So if it locks itself at something like 60, you'll never really see any problems like that. Um, and the last thing that I want to talk about, if I go into options here and I go into snooper settings, you can see that there's a whole bunch of random, almost look like debug options now. And uh, essentially what this is, is uh, this is all of the information that can get sent to Mojang about your machine specs. Because as you can see here, it says we want to collect information about your machine to help inform, to help improve Minecraft by knowing what we can support and where the biggest problems are. All of this information is completely an anonymous and viewable below. We promise we won't do anything bad with this data but if you want to opt out feel free to toggle it off so if for whatever twisted reason you really don't feel like sending this information and as you can see it's all completely harmless um you know there's no personal information your account name isn't getting shared or anything like that um then you can just go ahead and you can hit the button off uh so you know no harm no foul i guess so anyways guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off the video here. Again, this was just a rough overview of the stuff that has been added in the 12W30 snapshots and the 1.3 pre-release. Uh, the actual 1.3 video that I'm going to be releasing on August 1st, assuming the 1.3 actually comes out that day, uh, will be much more complete. It'll basically cover, you know, all of the main features that have come out within these snapshots slash pre-releases. So anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, my name is Antvenom. And I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.